Greetings, dwellers of the internet! My name is Technovolt, and today we're building the Boeing 707 narrow-bodied jet airliner. With that said, let's get on to building this aircraft. The 707 was the first commercially successful jet airliner and can carry 140 to 189 passengers depending on its configuration. They used four Pratt & Whitney JT3D engines, which produced a maximum of 19,000 pounds of thrust each. During an exhibition play at the Seattle's 1955 Seafair and Golden Cup hydroplane races, the test pilot Alvin Tex Johnson did two barrel rolls to show off the airplane. The 707 has a 35 degree swept wing, which gives it a tendency to Dutch roll. Don't know what that means? Well, Google it, because I don't know how to explain it to you. The 707 had a few variants. The shorter range version was the 720, with only 154 of them built. It was soon replaced by the smaller 727. The C-137 is another version which is now only used for military purposes and VIP transport. The VC-137C was the Air Force One version that served from John F. Kennedy to its last presidential flight in 2001, taking President George W. Bush from San Antonio to Waco, Texas. The VC-137C's very last flight was to San Bernardino International Airport where it was dismantled and taken to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley where it was reassembled and is now on permanent display. In all, the 707 has been used for pretty much everything from short domestic flights to transatlantic flights. As of 2013, there are only 10 707s still in use. So kick back and relax and enjoy the rest of this video. If you can make a 707 that can fly, or if you can modify this one to make it fly correctly, please send me a message and I will be grateful.
Greetings, doors of the internet. My name is Technovolt, and today we are building the Bowen 7... Bowen 7... Oh, what? <laughs> the 707 had a 30 feet... 